Welcome to today's um, episode from Pilgrim Ranch Demonstration Farm um, in Abuja. Um, today I want to talk to you about more about the Kalahari red goat. The Kalahari red goat. And here I have um, a Kalahari buck. Um, let me see if I can go over this side. Okay. Now, this book uh, is about um, 14 months old, and um, as you can see, uh, it's it's huge. I mean, pictures and films don't don't really show um, how large these animals are. Um, at 14 months old, it's already weighing 115 kilograms 115 um, kilograms and um, just 14 months old um, like I said in my previous um, episodes Kalahari reds weigh up to 115 but it is not uncommon for you to see ones that weigh even up to 150 kilograms I've seen one that weigh 163 um, kilograms it's all uh, a function of um, genetics, that is their genetic makeup. Um, it's also a function of um, the husbandry system, um, feeding especially. Um, those are determinants of, of the um, size of, of the goat. Now, <clears throat> Kalahari red goats are very, very hardy. They are, they are very, very hardy. Um, hardier than boa goats. Um, they are, you know, diseases that will kill a boa goat, um, a Kalahari goat will go through it and, and come out. Um, Kalahari red goats um, are also very docile. They are very, very docile, uh, with meaning they are, they are not aggressive. Of course, our local goats are more um, aggressive than these um, um, imported breeds, despite, you know, their... their um, uh, sizes. Now, in terms of you know the number of kids they can give birth to, um, the the normal size of the normal number of uh, kids is usually two, as you can see over there. We have goats that have um, uh, two kids, but it is not uncommon uh, for you to see more than two. I've seen three. I've seen four, and the largest number of kids I've seen um, amongst Kalahari red goats is seven. Seven. That's that's just that's just unbelievable, but it's very very um, rare. Okay, um, if if we if we look at the, the head, um, like I, I said, one of the distinguishing uh, features of Kalahari boa and savanna white is their their Roman nose. Okay, their convex Roman nose. Unlike our local breeds that have a concave head, Kalahari Red and um, Boa, they have this convex um, Roman nose that goes like this. Are you showing it? Yes. Sir. Okay. That goes um, like this. All right. So, um, what else can I tell you about them? They are very intelligent animals. They are very, very intelligent um once they get to know you you know they're very trusting very um friendly um good very good observers and uh, it's a good goat to 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 have they are not cheap they are not cheap i'm not going to tell you the price of this one but they are very very um expensive and they are very good goats to cross with um sokoto red uh with um 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 uh, West African dwarf, and um, through crossbreeding, you you will get uh, um, a, a local a crossbreed that is larger than our indigenous um, goats. All right, let me brush him. Come here. Come, come, come. He loves this. <laughs> it's like you're doing massage. 
All right. Once again, thank you very much for joining me. Um, this is Kalahari Red Buck. Bye-bye.